I want you to realize that this world, life, is one big head game. And once you learn to play the motherfucking head game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You can start living your life. What's up guys? So I'm on my way right now to go interview Mike Salemi for my podcast. It is 614. I've been on the road two and a half now. Super nervous. <laughs> but I'm going through my questions, listening to some podcasts to make sure I'm on point when I get there. I think I'm gonna stop in Santa Cruz first to visit my old alma mater. Um, and we'll see if I have time. Honestly, being on the road and alone and in the morning and going to do a podcast makes me feel like I'm so on my purpose. Um, like, th this is where I feel like I'm Miguel the most. <laughs> like, just doing my own thing and like um, scheduling things on my own, making things happen on my own, and going to do it on my own. Um, it would have been cool if other people would have came with me, but it is what it is. But I feel so on my purpose right now and I fucking love it. <laughs> yeah. I just pull up in this bitch In a function with my crib I stay in a bag Think they on my hip Fucking in a bag I stay with a bitch Smelling like a lid Smelling like my jealous Seeing this believing I don't see none of you fellas Drop a song and these famous bitches love it I brought you uh, some little gifts. What? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Um, what can I set these down? Yeah, you can just set it right up there by the window. Thank uh, you. Yeah. I got you some coffee. I know what? you love coffee. Some biodynamic coffee. What? Yeah, super cool. Um, and wow. then I got you a couple of shirts. But, um, oh, man. Thank you so yeah. much. I know you love coffee, man. Dude, this is incredible. Who made this? Um, you know what? Have you ever been to Air One in LA? Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. So in Air One, they have like all like really good stuff. They have like biodynamic coffees. Everything there is like super high quality. So I was in there and I was like, dude, this is perfect. Like the night before, and I was like, Mike's gonna love some biodynamic wow, coffee. Wow! Thank you so much. Biodynamic coffee. Wow! Yeah. Oh, that's, dude. Um, and like, look, it says like holistic roasters. That's is so this, cool. This looks like um. What's good Anya's logo? I think. Oh really? Yeah. I don't know if it's good colors Anya. too. Calabas, Calabal, Calabalas. Calabalas, I have no idea. I don't know where that is. Is it Calabasas? Cal Calabasas. It is Calabasas, Calabasas, Calabasas. I was like, oh. No, it's, it says L-A-S, Calabalas. So oh, you're right. Maybe they spelled it wrong. Oh, yeah. Maybe they spelled their own address wrong, I don't know. Bomber, dude. Yeah, yeah I don't know what kind you drink, but yeah, sure dude, it'll be fine. Oh, fucking good coffee, it's good coffee. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, this is so kind of you. Thank you, Miguel. Oh yeah, that's like a, like a, I don't know if you know Alpha Dynamics. No. This is like their new product, like, um, I don't know who sponsors them, but um, like it takes like a hundred pounds to make that one pill of, uh, of Rishi Spore Oil. No shit. And I was like, dude, you probably n this have is, never tried it. No, I've never, never heard of it. Cool. Yeah, man. Wow. And then oh. I got you some shirts in there. Dude, man. that's so kind of you, man. Yeah, man. My pleasure. Hell yeah, welcome. Yeah. Dude, these are beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, well, we're gonna get to talking a lot and wanna learn more about this. Oh, bro, yeah, of course, I'm super excited. I'm gonna show you just a few rooms. Uh, we can certainly do outside. Yeah. This is my office. Oh, dope. So if we wanted to set up on the floor, I got more meditation cushions, if this would be a good yeah. kind of area. This is, if this is your space. I usually go to people's homes okay. uh, to do podcasts, and just because, you know, like, it gives it much more personal vibe of like, hey, this is the rest of my time, and let me talk about who I am. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, this will work. Why don't, why don't we plan on here, and then I'll just cool. show you the gym real quick. Oh, fuck yeah. Did you like uh, Paul Check's goodie bag? Dude. Wasn't that nuts? Dude, his goodie bag was insane. So the, the oil, the, the bag. yeah, the, was it the? Your farm oil? Yes, yeah, man. I that's, loved it. That stuff is, I was actually just, I bought, I'm buying eight bottles and actually 25 smaller bottles to give us gifts. Whoa, really? Yeah. 
It's Whoa. like I haven't I haven't ever seen anything that was like that high quality. I've had like um, some skin stuff since I was a kid, and like yeah. started putting it on, and right away, really like insane, beautiful. Insane. Like my skin's like super soft now, smooth. Yeah. I was like I've got pictures from before. Okay. And uh, so I was like, dude, I was talking to Jared. I was like, man, your stuff is insane. Yeah. Um, so I loved it too. It was beautiful. This, this is awesome. This yeah. is the, this is the gym. Uh, excuse the the clothes. No, you're just good. Cleaning it up, but. Yeah, this I actually just got this bag like yesterday, but it's easy to unhook so that I can do. This is where I run my classes. Okay, and, like, yeah, like, man. So I like project onto that thing. Okay. Um, and then I can watch like at least eight students in fairly large size or or okay. even more. And got yeah, it. this is where all the home stuff. Dude, happens. this is so fucking sick. That practice, that that ritual that we just fell into. Yeah. And so almost every single day we're coming together, taking time out of our schedule, sitting together in silence. Yeah. And then chatting about where we're at, what's coming up, and That's we've been good. doing that for since we've been together. Really. Oh, I love that. I love uh, in my past relationship, I broke like the fourth wall. Like usually people don't talk about, hey, so how's this going by the way, you know, and like oh. and communicate like you know I like what we're doing, but I you know like I feel like maybe we should do more things with my parents or. I feel like you're not close enough to my family. It's like, oh, I never thought that. Like, okay, let's do that. Yeah. Like, and it's really good to break the fourth wall. Like, how you said, like, talk about, hey, what are we doing? How's it feeling? Is that kind of what you guys do, right? Or, I mean, anything, anything that's oh, coming up okay. in life, anything okay. like, you know, what was, what came up for you in the meditation, what, you know, mm -hmm. you know, anxiety, like, all, whatever, whatever anything's on the table. Got it. Everything's on the table. Now. So, this is uh, basically all when I was first writing Men of Movement. This was basically like, everybody in like one degree of separation or people that I knew would be probably a good fit. Okay. And then this was like the first outline of it and then us breaking down exactly the cost per person and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. That's beautiful. You really went into it, huh? This was just, yeah, just brainstorming and just like writing everything that I, yeah, that's how it starts, right? That's good. But this, this room specifically is sometimes I'll, I'll do treatments here for, you know, but really this is like where I'll receive treatments. Oh, and really? Also, when I was doing more one on one work, especially if it was a complex case, yeah. Um, like, just like all check practitioners, we all got our network and mm -hmm. like people that are better than us in certain areas, yeah. So, specifically, like one or two people on any challenging client case, I'd have those other practitioners come here. Come here. Oh, wow. They would treat my clients here Fuck and basically yeah. just set them up to. to really just have a beautiful experience. And then I'm just sitting here taking notes and like learning. learning. Uh, this is from Milan. This is a rocket espresso machine um, from up, up northern Italy. But this thing's been pumping out stuff for, yeah, we've been making <laughs> shots like not, no other. So I'm super stoked to try this coffee, man. And, oh, dude, of course. Yeah, I'm so stoked. But yeah, this is like literally where I spend the entire morning. It's like my ritual and like making coffee and all that stuff. Yeah. Was, Have you ever been addicted to it? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Said, I, I should even. I don't even know. I've totally forgot on the podcast. Oh sure. yeah, about like coffee, right? About I like remember food, and I was just yeah. like thinking of desserts, but coffee for sure. Yeah, coffee. It's could be uh, nice. and, and even to some, you know, you know, to some respect, like I was sharing, you know, I love coffee. I love the ritual of coffee. I love, and I also like tobacco. And those are two things that it can be easy for me to go in excess mm -hmm. and so I have to check myself in terms yeah. of like when it's too much when it feels supportive yeah uh and when I'm like burning myself out and you need to calm it down you, you got do. the volcano going back there too got the volcano you know the volcano is something that Lauren I, I really do like it it's yeah. more Lauren's thing oh really okay yeah, you know I, I think it's really cool for like social stuff and, and I really do enjoy like a good bag of hell yeah and herbs but just the act of bringing in warm air in my lungs, Yo, I don't really enjoy it. And like, if I push it in the gym, like even though it's the essence and all that shit, it just doesn't feel super good. And I can yeah. feel myself getting more winded. Whoa. That's just me. Yeah. Uh, but from a social thing, I think it's dope. It's just not my, like my yeah. go-to thing. Yeah. Yeah. I love having you at my house and you make a big bag for everybody and we just chill that's and pass the, it around. That's the super cool thing. Yeah. You use this for ceremony or? So this actually, my I've got two super close friends who uh, basically they're opening up um, a retreat center with medicine work as well and bringing in other healers. And as they uh, basically sold their home and brought this land or building this beautiful place mm -hmm. in the mountains, they asked me if I could hold on to a few things. Yeah. So this is actually theirs that I'm borrowing. Right oh, now. So sweet. Like, yeah. So like okay. it's, it's, it's dope. Uh, don't, I, actually, let's see if she's. 
Probably not the right Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> to give it a good gong. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. Dude, I love it. And then this is just our uh, kind of like charging station and our, our ceremony oh. area, our altar. Oh, so she's going to be planting a bunch of seeds, and so she's putting it all up here to, to charge it, put some good energy in it. She's okay. got a few things started there. Oh, tobacco? Okay. Oh, okay. Hoppy. Okay. 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 Whoa, where, where are you going to plant these? So right along those beds there. Okay. Right there, and then on the other side of the house, we have this design to where it's a, it's a training sauna. And so you can, oh. you can lift this up, basically. And then I've got all this space here to actually train and then... Do yoga or like whatever. Whatever, jumping jacks, conditioning. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll use this for conditioning. and then Dude, it's, that's yeah, sick. This is sometimes Lauren and I will do meditations in here. Um... But I'll use it, yeah, training, stretching, conditioning, yeah. meditations. Like, we use this thing all the time. Dude, that's so sick. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That would yeah. be tight. This is uh, Divine Sauna is the brand. Divine Sauna? Yeah. And so this is their, like, yoga training sauna, but then they made it just a little bit. I forget what they modified for me, but they made a few light adjustments for me that has been super cool. How much was it? So I think it retailed for, like, 10. 10? 10? Yeah, like, 9 or 10. Okay. Um, but it's really big. I think it's like a six foot by eight foot sauna. Yeah. And then, um, but like even like this, like I could still stretch and do stuff here. Yeah. But as soon as you flip this, it's like, and yeah. actually what I might do is I might add like a second row here. To sit? To sit like the one thing. Higher. Oh, yeah. The yeah. one thing is like, there's so much distance from here to here that the heat doesn't yeah. stay up. But like, if you like, the difference between sitting on the floor and sitting here is noticeable. And the difference between standing is noticeable. So I actually want to get I'm, even higher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's like, that's, that's my only one thing is I need it to get a little bit hotter or like when I'm doing conditioning, jumping jacks, running, yeah. like it's very challenging. It took me a long time to build up to that, yeah. but it's like the perfect, perfect thing for me. And then get out, jump in the ice. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> He's like the only Frenchies that fetches. Oh, really? Fetching Frenchies. Yeah, bud. He's so cute. He's such a boy. Yeah. Like, oh, dude. Such a dude, he's like run through that screen door. He's taking. <laughs> he's like. He's ran through the screen door. Mike hit him with a kettlebell on, on accident. And it was fun. <laughs> we recorded. We were training in the gym, and like it was so it was messed up. It felt terrible. But oh, like, it was I bet. Recorded I mean, because we were like doing it. Yeah. It's like, like your baby, you know. You know? Oh, dude, like he. But he took it. Like he, he took it like a champ. Like, yeah. All right. It like clipped him on the side so it brushed but it, it hit like yeah and then he's just all excited and i was like oh my god like, boom part of the boys yeah. yeah and he's so small and fast he's like he never did that again now he's <laughs> yeah for the most part there you go he learned but he's super cool like i've always had big dogs like rottweilers and stuff and uh so he's quite a bit smaller but he's such a cool dog and he's so muscly like Damn, he's cool. He's like a big dog in a little body. Do you guys feed him meat? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This guy eats so well. Yeah? It's like, good. This guy slant. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. Right. Yeah, he, this guy eats super good. That's one of the reasons I didn't want to get a dog yet, just because I know, like, to buy them, like, the proper food and, like, make sure they're taken care of properly. Like It's an investment. Yeah. But, like, really, I mean, as I'm sure you're, you know, like... The amount we invest in his food, so, it's like it, it carries through yeah. everything. Like he's so healthy, he's the perfect weight. Like, and you know, certain breeds have certain dispositions to yeah. illness. So it's like and he's doing fine. If you cut your corners there, then you're just gonna. It's a you're bound to spend so much yeah. more. But if you yeah pay for the good stuff, yeah, front, then you have no surgeries or life and like yeah, none of that stuff. Hopefully, but still. Like this was actually the first home that my parents bought. Oh wow. Um, we, when we moved to California, we were living with my grandparents, and then as they built their business, this was their first home. And then my brother and I wanted to buy a place together for a long time, mm -hmm. but everything in this area is ridiculous. Yeah, and yeah. So they were trying to figure out what they wanted to do with this place, continue renting it after they had got another home, 
and uh, we're just like, dude, let's keep it in the family. And so yeah. we went, me and my brother joined, and we basically bought the house from them. Nice. So we could keep it in, and uh, it's been great, dude. Super sentimental, and also, yeah. Like, my dad laid all the marble. Whoa, the really? Oh shit. Okay. And, like, um, yeah, we've done just a bunch of work to it, so it's yeah, like we put in some, some like, mainly my dad, but definitely like you my guys. family's put in a lot of work to it. exposure and instruction into breath work, mobility training, a new rad workout every single week, stretching, and you're going to get to do it with myself, and also I've got Lauren who joins me every single week. We hope you can join us in Bags and Bells. This is the laboratory for high performance. Hope to see you soon.